Hello Daisies, this is Patricia Roebuck and today I'm going to show you how I used the cranes that you, the cut file cranes that you get with your subscription from Coco Daisy. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open the PNG file. You could open the other SVG file as well, but uh, this one comes opens a little smaller so I can make that bigger this way. Either one of them will work. Um, now you don't have to use these files as is on a card like this. Basically it's going to cut in the black. It's going to be those little cards with the image on it. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my trace tool. Click trace. Select trace area. And I've tried just getting the crane, and for some reason it doesn't work well. Maybe uh, I don't say that I'm an expert at silhouette. I just make things work how I can get them to work, and this is how I did it. I went ahead and selected the entire card. And let's see, D-check high pass. So everything is yellow. So I'm going to click trace. So now if I drag that out the way... You can see that I have my crane with the car. There's a few extra lines there. I'm not worried about those at all because I'm not going to be using it as a card. So I'm going to click back on that image, hit my delete key on my keyboard, and that's gone. Now I can play with this. Now I just want that crane in there. There's no way down here for me to ungroup this. And sometimes if you hit modify button up there and release it, sometimes you can ungroup but I can't. So this is what I did. I click over here on the eraser tool and I drag that all around to erase that rectangle card so that I am only left with the crane. And just take your time. And let me just show you if I were to stop you don't have to keep going. If you need it to stop you can stop it's still on the eraser, but then you would have to choose which size which uh, size and shape eraser that you want. So you don't have to keep going around in, in the rectangle like that. You can stop. Okay. So let me click back on my arrow and make sure I'm on that. So there's, oops, let me undo that. Okay. So my crane is in parts as I take my mouse to select it. You can see all those little bitty rectangles and squares. That means that it's in parts. So I'm going to group this so now that it's one part. So now I want to create this from my background. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to come up here to Object, Mirror, and let me just go to mirror options so that you can see all the different options that you have. I want this to basically flip over to the other side. So I'm going to flip it to or mirror to the right because I want to keep this one here. I don't want to just flip that image. I want another image of it there. So now I want both of these images to flip and mirror to the bottom. So I'm going to mirror those below. And that's how I created my background. Let me select this and then you can center it. And if you needed to, you can make it a little bit bigger. And that's how I did that layout. I hope that helps you to see that you can take those cut files that you get free with your subscription and make them your own to use however you want. Now I will tell you a little trick. Um, I I normally would back when this cut out, it cut out each one of these little parts and I would back with pattern paper with like one sheet. But I wanted this to be really really colorful and the easiest way whenever I do do that technique is I take these pieces that are cut and what I can do is let me go back to when this crane was in pieces parts and that way you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. Let me get him back 
to his original state. There he is. Okay. So all these little parts are going to be leftovers on your cutting mat. Don't throw those away. Use those and trace on your pattern paper exactly where you want it and cut. Yes, it is very tedious. It really is. I actually had to do it in stages because it was a little bit too much um, more work than I would want to put into a layout. But it was a special layout. It was a special photo. So I was willing to, to do that. But definitely save those little pieces and trace them onto your, your pattern paper.